There are literally thousands of marketing programs out there, and so many of them conflict each other. So many of them become outdated by the time they come out. But what I'm going to share with you today are the four fundamentals of your marketing. Mastering these will allow you to communicate your value at the very highest and get your clients and customers to be referring you new business consistently. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. You cannot be a courageous leader if you're not vulnerable. Your legacy is every life you've touched. The only thing that changes our life long term is when we raise our standards. And now is the time to take risk. The way it's always been done isn't necessarily the way it should be done. What is your dream? What do you think 2050, 2100 is going to look like? The most incredible sort of mystery, I think, is now the question of what comes next. Stay hungry, stay foolish. Welcome to the Preeminence Podcast. I'm your host, Matthew J. Peters. Visit preeminence.tv to learn more about how to create a preeminent presence for your business, organization, or personal brand. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or just ask Alexa to play the Preeminence Podcast. Hey everyone, I want to come out to you today and talk to you about marketing. There's so many programs out there. There's so much conflicting advice. There's so many trends. There's so many things that are just popping up and disappearing. So many hacks about how you're supposed to do your marketing, how you're supposed to do your Instagram, your Facebook, like they know exactly what is going to work for you and your marketing and for the group of people you're trying to talk to. I'm going to break it all down so it's as simple as possible. Then if you want to lay their tactics on top of it and make sure it fits this blueprint, this is going to make sure that you understand uh, the basics of marketing and how you get people interested in what it is that you're selling. All right. So here's what actually works in advertising and marketing. Advertising, marketing, I'm going to use them as the same as sometimes people will break them up into two different things right now. We're going to keep them as communicating your value out to the world. All right, you got to connect with people, but they need to know why you are relevant to them right now. So number one, you need to get in front of the right people. You got to get in front of the right people. If you are in front of a group of a thousand people, you get an opportunity to speak in front of them live and you practice and you got your pitch down and you know exactly how you're going to close, but you're in front of the wrong people it is not going to help whatsoever. So you got to make sure you're in front of the right people. What does that mean online? Whether you're posting on Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn, you got to make sure you're in front of the right people. If you're not in front of the right people, it is literally wasting your time. So find out where are the people who are going to be the best fit for what it is that you offer. Out of all the people you've served in the past, who did you enjoy serving the most and who got the most benefit? What were some of the aspects of those types of people that you love serving and you know that they really loved the quality of the service you had and they really fell in love with the results you brought and then they brought you more clients. A lot of times people are afraid of writing down who their ideal client is, but if you didn't have to write it down but you just looked into the past and it's like, you know what, this person, I know that their name was Jason, they had a karate studio, everything that I recommended them to do, they actually went out and did it, they paid me fast, they paid me on time. Um, here's the types of things they were interested in. And you start building this character from somebody you already know. You don't need to go out there and say, hmm, who would love this service? Well, if you're going to be serving people the same way or similarly to what you have in the past, then look for those types of people. But write it down so you will remember who it is you're talking to when you're giving your podcast, when you're writing your Facebook posts, your Instagram image, your blog post, no matter where you're going out, who are you talking to? So make sure you get in front of the right people so it counts. Every time you're in front of the microphone, every time you start typing on the keyboard, remember, who are you talking to? Number two, know specifically what they want. It's important for you as the expert or the authority in your marketplace to know what they need. But you're not going to sell them what they need. They don't want what they need. What they need is usually not sexy and it involves work. And you don't want to sell the work part. You want to sell the desire for the result that they want. What is the result that they really desire, strongly want, and they need to get out of that pain and find pleasure? So if we only talk about the pleasure part, 
saying, oh my gosh, this program is so great, it's going to solve all your problems. You need to start in the pain so they get to that place of reality. You need to give them a reality check saying, hey, I imagine your life is like this, and this is going on in your life with your health or with your finances or with your relationship or your image. You need to make sure you connect with people where they're at. So for you, you're listening to this because you really want to simplify your marketing. Number one, get in front of the right people. Make sure Next time you start typing, am I talking to the ideal person I want to work with? Am I just talking to because I got to fill space? I got to do something out there. Number two, know specifically what they want. Where are they at? What are they struggling with? And how does your service, your product, your event, how does that serve them? So know specifically what they want. And number three, offer them the right product at the right price at the right time. So when I say product, think about service, product, or event. Those are really the big things that I help people with. But know what the right product is for them right now. Where are they at in their process? Are they just starting out? Have they been through three other coaches? (laughs) Have they bought five programs and they're frustrated because they're not doing anything because there's no accountability? Where are they at in that process? So you need to offer something that's congruent and super relevant to where they're at right now in their struggle or their challenge. At the right price. Sometimes people love to work with us. They've been waiting to work with us, but they haven't had the money because all we had to offer them was something that was $5,000 or $10,000 or $25,000. And they just didn't see in their mind how they were going to come up with that money. What if you had the result? Your result is to lose uh, 10 kilos in six months. Let's just say it, but that's what it was. But they didn't have the $5,000 for your program or your $2,000 for your program. What they did have was $250. Now, what could you help them prepare themselves with? What could you have them come to the reality check, the, the terms of where they're really at, to help them really feel the need, the desire to build that up within themselves so they take action? What could you offer them that's going to move them down the line saying, you know what, I don't care how much the program costs. I need this in my life now because I need to lose these 10 kilos because I know my health is suffering from this. My energy is suffering from this. My relationship suffering from this. I can't play with my kids because I'm lethargic. I'm tired. Does that make sense? Offer them the right price so they can get a taste of what it is that you offer. They know, like, and trust you because you've given them a little bit of a result in advance of them investing in the thousand, three thousand, ten thousand, whatever it is for your program. So make sure you get them in the loop. Make sure you get them in your program somehow and get them a result. It doesn't have to be the big result, but they need to know that they can trust you as someone who's going to give them quality information, quality feedback that is going to move them down the line to get that result they want. So number one, get in front of the right people. Number two, know specifically what they desire, what they want. Now, you know what they need, but don't sell them what they need. Sell them what they want. You're going to give them what they need later. Number three, offer them the right product at the right price at the right time. Again, going back with knowing what they want, your timing's got to be right. Where are they at in that process? You can't offer someone that's, that is just learning, like they need to lose 20 pounds of belly fat. And you're going to tell them how to get massive six-pack abs and and prepare to be uh, in a fitness competition. They're in two different places. Maybe you've done done the fitness competitions. You're going to show people how to do that. There's some people, where they're at right now is they just got to lose the belly fat. So there's two different things you're going to be offering them, right? The timing is off. So make sure your timing is right, your price is right, and then they have the right product. Now, I'm going to give you a, a tip for this right price thing. So I like to give people... Uh, an offer that is about $2,000 to $5,000. And if they're like, Matthew, man, I love to work with you, but I just don't have that right now. I'm behind on this payment or that. I was like, you know what? You need to take care of your personal finances. I don't know everything that's going on in your finances. If you're telling me you really truly want this result, you want me to help you with it, but you don't have the $2,000 to $5,000, what have you now, are you sure you still want this result? You're, you're sold out to yourself in doing this. Yes, I just don't have the money. All right. I'm going to sign you up for our program. It's $250. It's a four-week thing. It's got these videos. It's going to help you on down the line. So what's your credit card number? They've already told you that they want to work with you. They already told you that they are sold out to getting that result they said they wanted. And they told you those things. If they're being truthful, just sell them. 
to sell them the thing that's 10% of what they said they really wanted. Just say, I'm going to sign you up for this. Let's get you signed up. Let's get you enrolled. Just say that. Let's get you enrolled in blank. It's $250. What's your credit card number? Let's, let's get started today. You're hot right now. I know that we are on the phone and over time, you're, you're, excitement is going to decrease. And I really want you to get that result because you told me you're sold out to that result. The next thing we need to do is take action and do something towards that goal right now. Let's get you enrolled. What's your credit card number? I want you to memorize that. Let's get you enrolled. What's your credit card number? They can't buy your $5,000 thing. Give them something that's 10% the price. Okay. 10% the investment. And number four, guide them to the result they desire. You've got to get somebody the result. You got to get everybody the result. I'm going to tell you, get them the result they desired or better. If you over deliver, just make sure you deliver first, get them specifically what they wanted and knowing what they want. Sometimes people want to enroll in your program because they want to be part of a tribe. Some people want to become part of your program because they want to have another certification under their belt. They're never going to use it. They just want a certification. Some people just want to be next to you. Some people love learning and other people, man, I need to make another uh, 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month. I need to lose this weight right now. Okay. You need to know what is their objective in working with you. You may have one objective, but it may not be the same as theirs. So know specifically what it is they want. Deliver that. And then over deliver. But you need to guide them to the results they desire. When you do that, you can ask them for a testimonial and they'll give you a great testimonial because you help them get the result. You just delivered. And your reputation is all that matters online. If you have a bad reputation, guess how long it takes for people to stop buying from you if you have a reputation of not getting people results. If you have a reputation of getting people results and you, they, people know that you have things that are $500, 5000 25000 they know they can get in and get your help with a little investment, they will trust you for the bigger investments. So number one, get in front of the right people. Number two, know specifically what they truly desire. You're going to give them what they need on the back end, but you talk about specifically what they desire so they're in that space. Number three, offer them the right product, service, or event at the right price at the right time. And number four, guide them to the results they desired or better. You can't put people on your back and carry them over the finish line unless it's a done-for-you program. The programs I do are done for you where we do everything for the client, done with you where we train people and help them and giving them feedback on whatever it is, if it's a podcast, if it's creating a series of videos, if it's helping them with their messaging, that is, that's like a minimal investment. And then you have the do it yourself. So do it yourself, minimum investment. You have the done with you, which is the second step. That's where I have my primary offer is the done with you to learn from me. And I'm going to give you feedback and guide you to make sure you get to the end goal that you said you wanted. And then the third one is done for you. So I have three tiers, which is really helpful. And I also have free things online. I have free training online. I also have a book that is $10. So I have those different price points. So if someone comes to me and wants a result, if they truly want the result, I have the product for them. I have the product for them. So everybody who calls me, they buy something because I have something in their price point. I find out where they are and what they need, and I deliver that to them if I can truly help them. If I can't help them, then I'm going to point them to somebody I know who can. That's a lot. But everything you do, every strategy that you learn from a program you buy, every tactic that you're learning from being on somebody's webinar, layer that on top of this if you need to. But literally, it's just these four things. Get in front of the right people, know specifically what they want, offer them the right program, product, or service at the right price, the right time. Number four, just make sure you get them the result. You get them the result, they're going to be happy. Your business will grow just because of word of mouth. Word of mouth travels about 10 times faster when you don't get people the results than when you do. But you can always ask them for a testimonial and get a solid testimonial when you get people the results they asked. And ask them when they're hot. Ask them when they're excited. Oh my gosh, I just got a new client. Oh my gosh, I lost three kilos. Oh my gosh, I just went out on a date with my wife and I just had an incredible time. It's so much better than the last time. Or I just feel so much deeper, deep connection with God or with the universe or what have you. Or I just manifested this. When people are excited, ask them for the testimony because that testimony is going to sell for you more than you could ever sell for yourself. 
that's what I have for you today. Go through these and write these four things down. The next time you're going to write a post, next time you do a video, write a pod, do a podcast, anything you're going to put out there, you're messaging yourself and what you do, think of these four things. I'm going to tell it to you one more time because it's that important. Get in front of the right people. Where are they at? Make sure you're going to be speaking to them. Use their language. Use their lexicon. Be where they are. Don't make people try to find you. Get in front of them where they are. Number two, know specifically what they want. Talk about their desires. Talk about the struggle that they're in right now. Help them alleviate by purchasing through, from you, by investing in themselves through you. Don't, don't sell them what they need. They're not going to be interested in what they need because that requires work. Sell them what they desire. Give them what they need. Number three, offer them the right product, the right price, the right time. And number four, make sure they get the result. All right, apply these. I look forward to hearing from you how this has helped you. Keep it super simple, break it down. And again, your marketing, why I say get them results in your marketing because the results are your marketing. That last step is one of the most vital steps in your marketing is just making sure that you get people the results. If you don't know how to do uh, pay-per-click ads, you don't know how to do fancy videos, but you can consistently get people the results and ask them for the referral, ask them to do a testimonial. That's the best marketing you could possibly have. Thank you for listening to the Preeminence Podcast. Subscribe to hear powerful interviews and insights each week automatically downloaded the moment they go live. Share this episode with your team, your friends, and post it on social media. Let us know your comments and suggestions for the show at m at ascend.net. That's the letter m at asynd.net. Thank you.